Hello students, I am back with a new topic and I hope you all are doing well, wonderful at home and please stay at home only. Okay, please obey your teacher, obey your elders, obey your mommy and papa. And children, please one more thing I want to discuss and I want to uh, share with you that uh, you must have aware that COVID-19 virus is all around us. Hana? So you should pray for each other. We pray each other we should pray each other because only almighty god can save us right children so every morning when you get up early in the morning you should pray for pray for your uh, neighbors pray for your friends pray for your mommy and papa family members for all okay so now here i'm going to explain you subtraction with uh, subtraction word problem okay so word problem you must have uh, learned now in the addition also so here i have i'm going to give you one more example okay now see first we will read the problem what is the problem now see a fruit seller had 355 mangoes a fruit seller had how many mangoes he has he has 350 Five. Okay. Now see next uh, sentence is he sold 150 mangoes out of them. Means out of 355 he sold 150. Okay. He sells 150. Now the third sentence is how many when this word will come just click in your mind that this is the minus this is a subtraction you have to identify also nobody is going to tell you this is addition this is subtraction okay in the examination time so you have to identify ki this is the minus sum so how will you do this this uh, this word how many mangoes how many mangoes are left unsold yani ki kitne bache hai? Okay, so you what you will do? You will subtract the sum. Okay, subtract the number. So here I have written statement. See, this is number one statement. That is, I'm going to write this here. Number one statement: number of mangoes. Okay, number of mangoes. Now, how many mang mangoes are there? 355 so what you will do same thing you will place same number in the same column okay so here i'm going to write 300 five tens and five ones okay we will write bigger number first then what is the second statement second line he sold 150 mangoes out of them. Kitna usne sell kya? 150. So the, now the second statement is number of mangoes sold. Okay. So now we will leave one line here, one block here because you need space to write the statement. Okay. So we will leave one block here also so now how many 150 mangoes he sold okay now what is the third problem third is sentence how many mangoes are left unsold how many remains so mangoes now this is the third statement that is mango mangoes unsold so we will subtract here okay so here first we will do one's house five minus zero take away zero from five so what will come five okay now take away five here I forgot to put the minus sign. We have to put it first. Okay. So take away 5 from 5. 5 
take away 5 from 5 0 so 0 will come here okay now see the hundreds house take away 1 from 3 3 minus 1 2 so now the answer is 205 okay 355 minus 150 is equal to 205 right so now we will write the answer first before the margin you will write a and s that is answer and the fourth this is the fourth statement okay now see the statement the answer is there are 205 mangoes left unsold okay this is your answer and after this you have to draw margin right children i hope you have understood this let's continue with one more example okay children now see there are 700 students in a school like you have a school now you have St. Paul's College, St. Paul's School. So, there are 700 students in a school. How many students are there in one school? 700. Okay. So, now the second line is 245 out 245 of them are girls. How many girls are there? 245 out of 700 now the second line is and rest are boys okay so the third line is how many again there are it is written here now how many kitne so when it comes how many you have to subtract okay how many boys are there in the school okay so let's subtract first of all we will write the number of students so now this first statement is number of students how many number seven hundred okay seven hundred number of students is equal to seven hundred now now the second line is four sorry 245 of them are girls so the second statement is number of girls number of girls 245 okay now the problem is how many boys we have to find out the number of boys okay how many boys are there in the school so now the third statement is number of boys so let's find out the number of boys first we will what we will do we will uh, subtract one house okay so take away five from zero we cannot subtract right so what we will do we will borrow one number okay so we will cut this and write small 10 because 110 is equal to 10 ones okay so 10 it becomes 10 so 10 minus 5 is equal to 5 okay now here again uh, 7 given 1 here so it comes 10 and 1 he has 10 has given to 1's house so it becomes a 10 so now here 10 but 10 also has given 1 number to 1's house so 10 minus 1, one it is 9 right so 9 minus 4 9 minus 4 is equal to 5 okay so here 
now 100 becomes 6 so 6 minus 2 6 minus 2 is equal to 4 so now the number of boys are 455 okay children now see this fourth statement will be answer okay there are how many 455 boys in the school okay full stop your answer will be there are 455 boys in the school okay so in this way you will write four statements okay children now after this answer you will draw one margin okay i hope you will understood this now i'll see you in the next video thank you stay home stay safe